Hello there, thank you for choosing this video and welcome to Yoga with Anya. Today's session is fully dedicated to our sleep. A very big topic I find in our Western world and especially currently um, due to what is happening in the world. If you're practicing this life in April 2020, it is becoming an even bigger problem. People can't sleep and you might be one of them. You can also practice this, of course, if you have a good sleep, but you're just interested in a bit of education and some yoga postures that allow you to relax even more. But it's dedicated to you if you currently find yourself suffering from insomnia, which not only means that you maybe can't go to sleep, it could also be that you find yourself waking up every night at 4, 3 a.m. and you can't go back to sleep. So insomnia actually means just having any sort of kind of disrupted sleep or sleeping disorder, if you want to call it that way. And there is so many different reasons for that. I can't unfortunately tell you that you need to do this or that or you can change something and then it suddenly works and you'll have the best sleep ever. But there is tools that we can use to downregulate our bodies to kind of switch from a parasympathetic nervous uh, nervous system more of a fight and flight response to a parasympathetic one where the body is more in a rest and digestive mode so today we will practice a very very easy sequence maybe i don't even call it sequence it's three yoga postures that hopefully help you to get a better sleep a deeper sleep and just allow you to rest in a form that you would like to. Thank you for tuning in and I look forward to start on the mat or on the chair, on the sofa, maybe even on the bed in just a moment. We begin with a pranayama, a breathing technique tonight to down-regulate the nervous system and to find more calm and more ease within your body. Trying to balance out the energies that might be a bit disruptive for the sleep right now. So we're going to practice our moon breath. In yoga it's called moon pranayama. We are focusing on inhaling through the left nostril only today. And this is said to be the cooling nostril, the cooling side of our bodies when we inhale and take the breath in through the left side of our nose. So let's start. Take your right hand in front of you and then bring your two-piece fingers onto the third eye, so the center of your eyebrows. And if you find that this is a bit um, confusing for you in a moment, you can just take your fingers down into your palm and only use your thumb and your ring finger. So choose which option you would like to take. And then block your right nostril off and just apply a gentle pressure here. And now we start together, inhaling through the left nostril, take a nice long breath in. Then block your left nostril with your ring finger, open the right nostril and exhale through the right. And that's how we continue, very simple. Inhale, block the right nostril, breathe in through the left. Once you have taken your breath, close that nostril, open the right and exhale through the right. Again, inhaling, a light pressure through the forehead, breathe in through the left nostril. Then close your left nostril, open the right, breathe out through the right. So you can continue now in your own rhythm. You're always inhaling through the left nostril and you're always exhaling through the right. And if it's comfortable to you, for you, close your eyes or soften your awareness. Allow your left hand to rest on the knee, either facing up or down, and continue with your moon breath for a few more cycles. You're inhaling through the left nostril. You're exhaling through the right. And then you continue the same way. So always breathing in through the left. Exhaling through the more yang side of our body. And just keep breathing in that rhythm. Lengthen the spine. Feel the crown of your head reaching up towards the ceiling as you're breathing here. And feel that light pressure that you're applying 
with the two piece fingers on the third eye. A very relaxing spot. And notice if you find yourself thinking of lots of other things right now. Notice that this is okay, but as much as you can, try to stay present with what you're currently doing. Your breath, nothing else. If you lose the rhythm, you inhale through the left, you exhale through the right. Now let's take 10 more collective rounds together. Inhale through the left nostril. Nice deep breath, lengthen your spine. Exhale, breathe out through the right. Let's inhale through the left. Nice long breath in. Exhale, right nostril. Then change it again, breathe in through the left. Breathe in as for as long as you comfortably can, then close this nostril, exhale through the right. We start again, inhale through the left. Exhale, right nostril. Inhale, left nostril. Draw the breath down into your belly. And exhale, completely relax the belly, relax your ribs, relax the chest, breathe out fully. Inhale, full round of breath. Open the right nostril, breathe out through the right side. And now take five more rounds in your own rhythm. You can lengthen the duration of your inhale, you can shorten it, make sure it feels comfortable. You might also notice if one nostril feels more open than the other. It's usually changing every so often during the day. One nostril blocks off a little bit more, the other one opens more. It's also said that if your left nostril feels more blocked, your right side of the brain is more active and the other way around. Just something to notice. Take your last round or your last couple of rounds here. And really, really enjoy that last cycle. Breathe in through the left. Breathe into the fullest. And exhale completely through the right. And then once you've completed your 10 rounds, just allow your palms to soften facing down onto your knees. And just notice the cycle of your breath now. Notice how your nostrils feel. Sometimes we almost feel we can breathe a bit easier, a bit fuller. And imagine you're now inhaling and exhaling through both nostrils evenly. Keep your spine nice and long, shoulders relaxed, hips heavy. Beautiful work, very, very nice. And now to move on to our second part, Parshimottanasana, our seated forward fold. If you're sitting on a chair, I would say you could come onto your carpet, onto your mat or onto the floor and just extend your legs forward and out and away from you. Then shift that fleshy part from underneath your sits bones away so you really feel you're anchoring down into your hips. You can bend your knees, you can straighten your legs. Just allow your spine to be upright, upright. So if you're rounding, maybe bend your knees more so it's a little bit easier for you. As you inhale now, draw your arms past your ears and lengthen your arms straight up towards the ceiling. For our seated forward fold, where we're gonna stay for a good few breaths, inhale, lengthen the spine, and then start to lead the way from your sternum. And imagine you want to fold over your legs. So your upper body softens down towards the ground. And that could be for you that you're more lifted. So you might have your hands as a support on the mat. Or if it's comfortable, allow your palms to face up as a gesture of surrendering. 
And this is actually one part of our sleeping, I don't like to say the word problems or disorders, but our sleeping difficulties, maybe you could say these days, that we feel we have to have everything under control. So we don't actually allow ourselves to surrender or our bodies to surrender. And that happens very rarely. And then the body might be more agitated, more more active. And it's almost as if the body thinks you don't even need to sleep because your body, your energy is so all over the place. So see here with a forward folding posture, if you can allow your body to surrender into this shape. And today I would like you to only worry about whether it feels good in your back, in your neck, obviously the legs as well. But don't worry too much about how rounded your back is, how long the spine is, and just fold over the legs. Let go of any tensions you might have in the feet, the soles of the feet. Relax your ankles, your calves, your shins. Relax the back of your knees, thighs. And then feel how from the hips all the way into your heels, you're applying or you're allowing rather the weight of your body to simply surrender and ground down towards the earth. Notice your lower back relaxing, your middle back. Upper back is heavy, shoulders are very, very heavy. And you're not even controlling how you have your hands, how open your wrists, your fingers are. You're just allowing the whole body to sink down towards the earth. Another posture. Besides the first breathing technique that we've done that is very nourishing for the parasympathetic nervous system. Very relaxing and calming for the body and mind. And so often our bodies are that beautiful reflection of our minds. So of course if you feel a bit more anxious or agitated or stressed at the moment because we simply don't know what's coming after this time or in the next few weeks, then your body might take that on and your sleep could be the first thing suffering through. So right now, the only thing we have is this very present moment. Remember that and see if right now, as we are practicing together, if you can allow yourself to be held here, to feel supported by the floor, the earth underneath you and to fully trust and surrender. And now for the last few moments, I'm going to give you some silence. And I would like you to reconnect to your breathing. So just feel the rhythm of your breath. And try to breathe a little bit fuller, a bit deeper, for 10 more rounds. With every single exhale, allow your body to feel a bit heavier. See if you can let go. See if you can trust and let go. And we also do have to remind ourselves sometimes when we go to bed and have so many things on our mind that it is okay to let go. The world will be okay without us for a few hours. And then you can gain that energy through a good sleep and start again the next morning. Rather than being held up during the night, worrying, thinking. But again, of course, there might be lots of different reasons. 
But I would just like you to offer space here to practice for a better sleep today. Take your last cycle of a deep belly breath. Maybe you feel your arms can stretch a bit further forward. Maybe your body is a bit closer to the ground. Just see how your body reacts to time and, and space here, allowing the muscles to release. Beautiful work. And because we were here for quite a while, take your hands and vertebra by vertebra, start to roll yourself back up into a seat. And then just take a moment here to allow the body to come back, the spine to find a bit more length again, or in a, rather in a different variation, more length. And then for our already last part of the practice today, you can come to lie down on your back. So come to lie down on your yoga mat or on the floor and just hug your knees in towards your chest. Lift your head, lower the head again and make sure your neck is nice and long. The chin is tucked in towards the chest. Now take your hands towards the back of your thighs and start to extend your legs up towards the ceiling. Now if you already feel that legs up the wall might feel a bit shaky for you, you can do exactly this posture against the wall. It is actually called legs up the wall because you want to sit your hips to the wall and then you shuffle the body around so your legs are up on the wall. I'm just doing it here right now so you can see but if you have an empty wall at home you could do that against the wall and it also takes some pressure out of the legs. So either legs up in the air, first variation, or the traditional one, legs up the wall. With your hands I would like you to place your palms for today onto your lower abdomen, onto the left and right side of your lower belly. Bring your elbows as far forward as you can so the shoulders are relaxed. And just notice whether you can stack your knees above the hips and then the ankles above the knees so your legs are in a nice long line and you kind of find a space where you can just hang out. And then start again by closing the eyes or just simply softening the gaze. And you can soften the gaze by looking onto one single spot on the ceiling or out in front of you to narrow your awareness. And then notice your feet getting lighter the blood actually rushing back into the heart. We are reversing that cycle right now. And of course, make sure this is actually appropriate and comfortable for your body. Otherwise, you can bring the soles of your feet onto the mat and rest there. And with your eyes closed now or softened, bring your full focus back onto your breath. And imagine you're breathing into your hands, so you're feeling the lift upward, but you also feel a bit of an expansion to the left and right side to allow the breath to be full. With every inhale, feel the body rising without any effort. We keep it simple and soft here. And on every exhale, see if you can relax those muscles and those body parts on the mat or on the floor a bit more so you feel the weight of your body gently pressing down towards the earth. And now count about five more full cycles of breath. Notice your legs feeling more and more weightless. The breath, another very important factor of being relaxed. So if we breathe into the belly, the body also gets a different response, that we are relaxed, we are more calm, rather than breathing up in the chest. Quite often we do that, again, if you're stressed, or just in general, sometimes we forget how to breathe properly. The upper chest gives the body a stress response. Again, that fight and flight 
which we try to reverse today, tonight. And now take one more full cycle of breath, deep inhale, fill your lungs with new nourishing air. Exhale, allow your body to relax, tell your mind to relax with it. And then slowly, ever so slowly, if you're on the wall as well, bring your knees into your chest and just gently hold your knees in toward your body. A nourishing gesture of giving yourself a hug, giving yourself love here. And before we finish our practice today, maybe a thought of, of gratitude towards your breath and whatever it may bring you after this class. And hopefully you will feel a bit more refreshed when you wake up tomorrow morning. Keep using this practice and other yoga classes to nourish your body, to find better sleep. And I thank you from my heart to yours for being here today. Hopefully this was useful to you and take best care. Namaste.